welcome back to another video I thought I'd do a quick one on the multi interface shoe for Sony cameras now what I've got here is the older Minolta style on the left hand side this was around for quite a long time until 2012 where Sony updated it to their multi interface shoe Now there are some areas to talk about with this the major difference is the contacts are at the front of the shoe whereas on a standard shoe you'll see that the contacts are around the sink port in the middle or the trigger port the overall length of the multi interface shoe is very similar to the standard hot shoe but you will notice the location of that trigger contact is different I have a Godox flash to show you the multi interface shoe on that and you see the contacts at the front and you've got the trigger port there and we're going to see what happens if I put the multi interface shoe flash onto a standard hot shoe I'm using an adapter here to convert it to a normal hot shoe put it in place and when I fire the camera you'll notice that nothing happens at all so that is a problem with the flashes the multi interface shoe flashes that they won't fire on a standard hot shoe the reason for that is you'll see that the trigger port isn't in the middle on the flash what Sony have done is enlarge the trigger contact on the multi interface shoe which means that you can use other flash guns on it or at least most of them without an issue and I'll give you a close up shot why they've decided to not put that in the middle is a mystery to me I have no idea why they did that I'm going to test it now with a very basic manual flash trigger this is a radio trigger just with a single contact point when this is firing the light illuminates red you also got a test button there to make sure that it's working so I'm just going to put it straight onto the camera with the multi interface shoe and see if that one is working so I power up the camera now and test shot on that and I found that there's no problems with this particular trigger doesn't mean that everyone will work people that have had issues with different brands this particular one does without a problem very strange move that Sony did with the design phase um, with the flash guns by moving that trigger point so that is one potential disadvantage if you have flashes with the multi interface shoe that you won't be able to use them on their own with a say Canon or a Nikon there is a workaround for this which I will come on to shortly it's not the ideal solution but it doesn't involve hacking any hot shoes or anything like that so I'm just going to do a test shot converted the Minolta shoe to a standard hot shoe single adapter and that works fine with the trigger I've quite a few of these adapters around reason for that is I have different cameras different hot shoes different flash guns uh, it's not an ideal solution but it is workable we're going to add this Sony adapter which converts it back to a Minolta hot shoe which is the inverted ISO hot shoe with that in place what I'm going to do now is use another adapter and this one converts the Minolta shoe into a standard hot shoe with the trigger in the middle so all you need to do is put that onto the Sony adapter and then that will give us essentially the central trigger contact that we need to get the flash working on any other normal standard hot shoe again this isn't an ideal solution at all because it adds extra length to the unit the flash that I have with this is quite a small flash so it perhaps doesn't matter as much but with a larger heavier flash gun it really isn't going to be an ideal solution but at least it does get it working that's the main thing as a workaround so I put it into the hot shoe and then you'll see that it is firing now I'm using the Minolta hot shoe converted to a standard hot shoe but you'll get the idea so you're going to have to have two adapters on the flash to get that to work this is going to apply to the X1T and other radio triggers as well that have the multi interface shoe if you're going to use them on a normal hot shoe such as a Canon or a Nikon or anything else another option would be to use the sync port on the side of the transmitter if you have that available and just plug it straight into the camera I'm going to show you a Minolta hot shoe now with the auto lock mechanism now to be honest it wasn't the best idea Minolta had to change the standard hot shoe but it did have a couple of advantages that you could just push the flash on and it would auto lock there is I believe a Yong Nuo um, either a flash or a trigger that has that auto lock but on most of the flashes or triggers you have to actually lock down the screw mechanism to engage 
the pins at the front which stop it coming out and they still aren't fully locked in it's just the pressure on the side plates of the hot shoe that keep it in place so that's another disadvantage that I think with the multi interface shoe you'll also notice that by putting the standard hot shoe accessories in there they, they don't fully fit in that's because of the contacts at the front and that is the reason why some of the units that you get might not work in the multi interface shoe and I'll put it into the normal adapter and you can see it goes in snugly definitely some drawbacks with the design that Sony has come up with this so just be aware of that if you are having issues or a problem just use the adapters to convert around it it is a hassle to carry them around but it will solve the problem these are a couple on the screen for you they are fairly expensive I have both types of these and there are some third party ones around if you need to get hold of an adapter. What I would like to see makers do is move that contact point for the trigger to the central area on the flashes and triggers. That means you could use them across different brands and that wouldn't affect the current operation with the hot shoe as it is. Honestly, it isn't a particularly good design. It's a proprietary hot shoe just as much as the older Minolta one. Another drawback is only the most expensive Sony flash at the moment has a metal shoe. You can see the design on the screen. So that is another area that I would like to see adjusted and changed in the design. On the screen I've listed out some of the contacts. You can add extra things like microphones directly into the shoe. So there are certainly some advantages but definitely some drawbacks. If you've got any questions on this or on the multi-interface shoe do leave a comment below and thanks for watching the video.